and put your hands together. We're here to talk about a great God who's doing great things. See him doing great things for you. We are in a great season. Come on, great God. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask. You are welcome on this morning to trust and believe and agree with us that God is able to bring you out, that God is able to see you through, for he is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, and he will and he is. Listen, God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. So don't give up on God, for He won't give up on you. He's able. Oh, I know that He is. Will you believe with me? He's able. I thank you, Jesus. Say, God is able, God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill, he's gonna fulfill every promise. So don't give up on God, don't give up for he, cause he won't give up. Say, come on and bless the Lord. for your anointing. And God, we pray that you will stop by this morning and move in a mighty way. God, for those that are watching on Facebook and YouTube, touch right now, even in their living room, even in their bedroom, out in the den. God, touch them right now 
in the name of Jesus. Those that are sick and going through and their bodies touch and heal right now in the name of Jesus. Satan, we come against everything that you try to do to destroy God's people. And God, we speak it so we speak our healing right now. In the name of Jesus, we understand that there's power in your name. There's joy in your name. There's hope in your name. There's peace in your name. And God, we claim it right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we're standing on your word. All we have is your word. You said heaven and earth would pass away before your word would fail. Now come bless us and sup with us this morning. Bless your word that will come forth this morning. Bless your people to receive your word and we claim victory. And it is so and so it is. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Oh, we worship your scripture this morning is coming from Philippians the third chapter beginning at verse 4 rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice let your moderation be known unto all men the Lord is at hand be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus, the word of God for the people of God. God bless you. Come on, let's say praise the Lord this morning. Come on, let's say praise the Lord this morning. Come on, find somebody and tell them, you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Come on, find your neighbor say, neighbor, don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Come on, look at somebody and say, neighbor, oh yeah, you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Oh, come on, let's give him some praise. Oh yes, oh yeah. Oh, bless his name, bless his name. God is good and he's worthy. To be praised. God bless you. You may take your seat. And you that are on Facebook and YouTube at this time, God bless you. Thank you for joining in with us this morning. Amen. We're excited about God and what he's doing here at New Heart Ministries. Amen. Come over here where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. We're excited this morning. Amen. And we thank God for all of our ministers, our elders, our deacons, the administrators uh, in our church. And we thank God for all of you uh, this morning. Thank God for these beautiful songs that have come by our praise team and our praise leader. Thank God for these awesome musicians. Amen. And we thank God for just being God and who he is. And beside him, there is none other. Amen. Just tell your neighbor, if you hold on a little while longer, help is on the way. Come on, tell them, neighbor, if you hold on a little while longer, help. Come on, look at somebody and tell them like you're in danger. Help. Ah, no, he's all right. Come on, say praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you. We're excited this morning. Amen. Amen. My sons and daughters in the gospel. We'll be sharing this morning. Oh, I feel a dance coming. I know we're going to hear a word. I know God has a word for us, and we're going to move on at this time. None other than evangelist uh, Kathy Ashley, amen, is coming to bless our hearts and take us to Yonder's Mountain and a word that God is going to bless us with this month. Come on, receive the woman of God. Put those hands together and say, thank God. For Evangelist Ashley. Amen. There's a storm out over the ocean.
the believers yeah. to persevere in their faith, yeah. even in a hostile world. Uh -huh. Now, after reading that, I immediately thought of two things. One, how so many Christians are slowly turning back. Uh -huh. Look at the church during the pandemic, uh -huh. when God gave us a window of opportunity to come back to the house of prayer what did we do? Most of us stayed home. We made excuses on why we weren't coming back. I knew I wasn't going to get any help. <laughs> excuses like, um, I don't have to be at the church to have church. The church is in me, not in the building. Help us, Lord. I'm going to leave that alone. And two, yes, we are living in hostile times. Look at January the 6th when the Proud Boys took over the capital of the United States of America. Ah, oh, we're living in hostile times. Yeah. But in keeping with the text, yeah. now, faith now faith is the substance of things hoped for, yeah. the evidence of things not seen. Yeah. Now I'm going to give you the biblical definition of faith, yeah. substance, and hope. Faith is the basis of one's hope to receive a promise from God. Yes. Substance, a strong base, a strong base, uh -huh. or a foundation that will firmly hold whatever is put on it. Yes. Hope 
is a confident expectation yes. or assurance based upon a sure foundation. Yes. Faith then is the foundation for our future hopes. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. It gives us certainty that what God has promised in his word, this word, is real. And he will bring it to pass. Yes. The evidence of things not seen. Now, when most of us pray this scripture, Hebrews 11 and 1, most times we are knee deep in whatever the need is. Yes. We are at a point where we cannot or do not see a way out or lack the ability or resources to obtain it on our own. Yeah. We are at the point that we most, most times we say, well, if God don't fix it, it can't be fixed. If God don't do it, it can't be done. We make all kinds of excuses, but yeah. my beloved brothers and sisters, yeah. I've come to let you know that God's word is true. Yeah. So therefore, regardless of what we're faced with in this hostile Yes. We must hold to God's unchanging hand. Yes. As the lyrics go, time is filled with swift transition. Yes. None on earth unmoved yes. can stand. Yes. Build your hopes on things eternal. Yes. And then hold oh. onto God's unchanging hand. Trust in him yes. who will not leave you. Whatsoever the years may bring. Now, when your earthly friends forsake you, still more closely to him cling. Yeah. Hold onto God's unchanging hand. Yeah. Matthew tells us that if we have faith as a size of a mustard seed, yeah. we can say to this mountain, move, and it shall be moved. The word of God is his promise to us. Numbers 23 and 19, God is not human that he should lie, not a human being that he should change his mind. As the old colloquialism says, God said it, I believe it, and Lord, that settles it. So whatever is written in God's promises, it will come to pass. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Oh God, but our trials come to strengthen our faith. Those trials become the substance on what our faith is built on. You better hear me now. The more he brings you through, understand me, the more you are able to handle. Your trials are your substance which builds your faith. Giving you more hope in the evidence. Remembering the evidence are your past trials. If he brought me out then, I know he'll bring me out now. Things not seen. Faith comes through our trials. Remembering trials come to make us strong. Beloved, 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 be ye steadfast, unmovable. Always, always abounding in the work of the Lord. All our trials, they are not by happenstance. Trayvon Martin wasn't by happenstance. That was meant to happen in a little old town in Florida. Oh, but it was a prelude of a major movement called Black Lives Matter. The senseless killing saints of uh, Breonna Taylor, Philando Castile, Ahmaud Arbery, and George Floyd wasn't by happenstance. COVID-19, it wasn't by happenstance. First Peter 5 and 10 says, and the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. You may not like the trial, saints, but this verse says, 
when you are going through your trials, after you have suffered a little while, you will grow to be firmly rooted and grounded in God. Strong, firm, and steadfast. We're standing on faith, substance, and hope. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Does he speak? and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? For all the promises of God in him are yes and amen. All saints, without faith, without faith, without faith, it is impossible to please God. For whoever comes to him, that he exists and that he rewards them, those who diligently seek him. My sister, my brother, I say keep the faith. His word has already told us. Romans 8 and 18. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Uh, the ultimate goal, saints, uh, is to know I have fought the good fight. Uh, I have finished the race. Uh, I have kept the faith. Now faith, now faith, now faith is the substance uh, of things hoped for. The evidence uh, of things not seen. My prayer is simple. Lord, 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 keep me. Oh, come on, put them hands together. Let's praise it. Oh, what a word. somebody and say faith 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 you don't need a whole lot but just use what you got ah now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen God bless you evangelist Ashley what a word I know you were blessed I know you were blessed, amen, by that word. How many of you know it takes faith to make it through what we're going through now? How many of you know it takes faith to go through what we're going through now? Even with this pandemic and everything going on, it takes faith. And God, amen. God, let's give evangelists another hand. Amen, amen. Oh, what a word. We're moving on. We're moving on. At this time, amen, amen, Elder Solomon, Horace Solomon is coming to bless us at this time. Come on, receive the man of God. Put those hands together and be blessed by the man of God. everyone in their respective places. We just count an honor and a privilege to be able to share from God's word with you for just a few moments. I want to call your attention to two passages of scripture. We're going to tie them together and we're going to say what the Lord has commanded for us to say and we're going to be out of your way. 
Psalms 27, Psalms 27, and verse number 13. And also the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 4. And there we're going to read verses number 5 through 9. Psalms 27 and verse 13 says, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. 2 Corinthians chapter number 4, verse number 5 says, For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus, the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of the darkness, has shined in our hearts to give light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Just for a few moments, I want to talk to you about the reason that I can't give up. The, the reason that I can't give up. And you should say to yourself, there's a reason that I can't give up. Now, in this day and time, we understand where we are. We understand uh, where we've been, and we don't quite know where we're going. But one thing we should all have in our hearts and our minds is that we cannot give up. Because you cannot win if you give up. You cannot see the goodness of God if you give up. Sometimes in this walk, it becomes hard to find your reason to go on. I understand that uh, some people have lost so many things and things are turned upside down. And it seems as if the devil has turned some of us every which way but loose. But we have to understand that the trials and tribulations that we go through come to make us stronger. Yeah. There are things that you are going to encounter that the enemy will tell you, sometimes in the person of the people who should always have your back, the devil will let you be hearing in your ear that this is too much for you. You're not going to be able to make it. You might as well just go ahead and throw in the towel. Yeah. You might as well go ahead and give up. Yeah. But there's a voice on the inside that should kick in and tell you to continue to go on. Now, uh, there's uh, different types of motivation things that drive you. There's intrinsic and extrinsic. One of them uh, says that human beings are motivated to do things because it makes them feel good. And then there's the other that says that we do things having an expectation of a reward for doing something good. Sometimes we do things to get rewards, and sometimes we do things to avoid having the issues that comes without doing it. Well, now I want you to understand that there's going to be some times in your life that you have to do some things and endure some things that don't feel good, but there's a reward that's tied to it. And sometimes you can't see the end of the tunnel, but you have to just keep taking steps towards it because you know that it's there. 
Sometimes you can just barely see the light at the end of the tunnel, and it seems like it's so far away, but one thing you have to do is realize that if you're going towards it, that the light shines that much brighter. And if you don't focus on the steps that you're taking and you focus on the light, sometimes you'll get to the light a whole lot faster. What am I trying to say to you? Don't worry about where you are. Focus on the light. Who is the light? Jesus is the light of the world. So we understand that, uh, I, I want you to understand that David, when he writes this psalm, David is a person that finds himself in trouble all of the time. And it's not trouble that he goes seeking after, but it's just the troubles that come along with being a child of God. Believe it or not, some of the things you're going to go through is simply because of who you are and whose you are, but that's why Paul encourages us to continue to endure hardness as good soldiers. Find the glory in your trials and tribulations because when you have your tribulations and your trials, it worketh patience and experience, and then experience gives you hope. Hope is built on nothing less, should be built on nothing less than Jesus and his righteousness. Now, what is hope? Hope is tied with faith. It's believing in something that you cannot see. For Paul asked the question, why would a man hope for something that he can see? I can't see where I'm going, but I trust in God. And I know that he knows all about my trials. He knows all about my tribulations, and I've got to continue to go through life, and the only thing I can keep telling myself is that I just can't give up. Many times we have had some easy days where we should have been basking in the glory of God, but circumstances have taken us to a place that's unfamiliar for some of us because some of us have not been normal in over a year. But one thing I've discovered is that even when everything else changes, God remains the same. Even when things get difficult, even when they get hard, when it seems like that you're in a dark place, you have to realize that God is there with you. And sometimes we have to go through low places, but I've discovered that even in my lowest places, Garth Brooks says that I got a friend in low places. See, it doesn't matter where I am because David let me know that there's nowhere that I can go to get away from God. For he, he said, if I make my bed in hell, God, I found out you're there. If I take up the wings of an eagle and fly to the uttermost, God, I found out that you were there. If I go to the depths of the sea, I found out that you were there. And then he let us know that God will be a present help in the time of trouble. There's somebody that ought to be able to say that no matter what I go through, I found out that he'll be there all of the time. And so we understand that David is going through a situation. And he said in his penmanship, if I had not wanted to see God's grace, if I hadn't believed that God would bring me out, if I hadn't believed that he would do like he always did and make a way out of no way. David said I would have given up. Somebody this morning has gone through something that you never experienced before. Been down some dark roads that seemed like there was no end gone through some financial hardships that economic experts said you wouldn't recover from. Dealt with some issues that were too hard for you to handle. 
and you felt like throwing in the towel. But I came this morning to let you know that now is not the time to throw in the towel. It's not the time to give up. It's not the time to say, I want to stop. But you got to get in your mind that no matter what I go through, it's not about me, but it's all about Jesus. And anything that happens to me, God can and he will bring me out. Sometimes we've gone everywhere that we thought of to go. We've called on everybody that we can think of to call on. And when we get down to our lives and realize that we're stuck between a rock and a hard place, can't turn to the left, can't turn to the right, can't even turn around. And when you look in front of you, you realize that things look like they're about to get worse. But I heard in the word of God that if you lift your eyes to the hills from which come at your help and realize that all of your help comes from the Lord, everything will be all right. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't faint now. It's almost over. You've almost made it. If you keep your hand in God's hand, everything will be all right. Don't give up because the devil wants you to give up. He wants you to throw in the tower. He wants you to say that God is not able. But I realize no matter where I've gone, no matter what I've been through, I can say for sure that God is able to bring me out. God is able to lift me up. God is able to walk with me. He talks with me and he lets me know that I am his. When my mother and my father forsake me, the Lord will lift me higher when I'm down. He will bring me up when I'm sad. He'll make me glad when it's dark. He'll be the light in a dark place. He'll make my crooked places be straight. He'll make my rough places smooth. I know that we're facing some difficult days, but the same God that has brought us this far is the same God that's walking with us now. And the same God is gonna see you through. Don't give up, don't give in, don't throw in the towel. Because if you wait on God and wait patiently, he will strengthen your heart. He will give you joy. He will give you happiness. He will bring you out. And when you thought it was all over, you'll be thankful that you didn't give up. You'll be thankful that you kept on running. Because if you keep on running, you'll cross the finish line. If you keep on running, you'll make your enemies your footstool. If you keep on running, he'll give you power to tread surface, power to walk the walk, power to talk the talk. And when it's all over, you'll say, I didn't give up and I've obtained that which God has for me. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't let the enemy make you think that you can't make it because you serve a God that specializes in things that you can't handle. Turn it over to him and let him work it out. Don't give up and don't give in. Hold on and God will see you through. Give up. 
Oh, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't you give up. Help is on the way. Don't give up. When you feel like you can't go no more, tie a knot in it and hang in there by faith. And don't you give up. Look at your neighbor and say, don't you give up. What a word. What a word. Now faith, and now that you have your faith, hold on and don't give up. No matter how bad it gets, and sometimes it gets rough. Sometimes it gets tough. We just have to keep on pushing. Pray until what? Something happens. You here in the sanctuary with us. Stand to your feet. And you that are on Facebook and YouTube at this time. Find somebody in the house you can touch and agree with. That got faith. Enough to believe you don't have to give up. What a word. Evangelist Ashley. Elder Solomon. What a word this morning that you all brought to bless our heart. I believe I can run on now and see what the end's going to be. And I don't know who you are, you that are standing there watching on Facebook or YouTube, but I'm here to tell you, don't give up. Keep the faith. God can bring you through any storm that you're going through. God can bring you through anything that's bothering you and holding you back. You got to trust in the Lord and do good, as the book say. You got to believe and trust God to bring you. If you're going through it, you can make it. He said he would put no more on us than we could bear. And God will bring us through. The song say he's already done done. If he's done it once, he'll do it again. Do you believe me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you trust God? for your situation. We want to pray with you now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, that man, that woman, that boy, that girl, touch right now. In the name of Jesus, that husband, that wife, come on. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. God, let them know they don't have to give up. That person that's talking about suicide, that person that's talking about giving up, let them know to hold on to their faith and don't give up. I know you're able right now. Touch the mind right now. Touch their heart. In the name of Jesus, Satan, I come against everything that you bring against the house of God. I rebuke you right now. In the name of Jesus, woman, live. Man, live right now. Hold on to your faith. Don't you give up. Help is on the way. God's going to do it for you. He's going to turn it around for you. said no good thing will I withhold from you. He's going to make you a way for you. Cast your cares upon him for he careth for you. Trust God. Trust him right now in the name of Jesus Lord. We know you're able. We know you can and we know you will. It is so. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Be healed, be delivered, and be set free. Thank God. Amen. Come on, sing it. Oh, yes. Do you believe it? I believe. Come on. Do you believe it's going to get better? Do you believe it's going to work it out for you? Do you believe he's going to turn it around for you? believe he's going to fix it for you? Do you believe you can hold on a little while longer? Just trust your faith. Trust your heart. Trust the word of the God. Cast your cares upon him for he careth for you. Hold on my brother. Hold on my sister. Don't you give up now. You've come too far to give up now. You fought too hard to get to 
where you're at. Stay right there. Don't you quit. You hold on just a little while longer. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. It's going to get better for you. Do you believe it? I believe. Do you believe it? I believe. It's going to get better for you. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, it is. It's going to get better. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. It's going to get better. going to get better. Come on, find somebody and say, neighbor. It's going to get better for you. It's going to get better for you. Look at somebody and say, it's going to get better. You and your home. You that's in your car, tell them, neighbor, it's going to get better. Oh, yes, it is. It's going to get better. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Come on, say it from your heart. It's going to get better. If I just hold on, it's going to get better. He's going to wipe the tears from your eyes. It's going to get better. Your children, your husband, your family, it's going to get better. You don't have to run out. You don't have to leave. Just trust God. Well, he'll never leave you. No, forsake you. church home you have one now call us here at the church and let us know call us at 386-238-0050 and say I want to be a part of this church you need a church home you don't have one God sent this word that message today by evangelist Ashton and Elder Horace today just for you for you. You needed that word. And now is your time. Call us here at the church and let God bless you. We love to have you. Come over here where the table is spread. And the feast of the Lord is going on. Come on, put them hands together. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. What a wonderful word this morning. Uh, these two blessed our hearts this morning. Now, come on, just one more hand. They just, oh, they mess with me today. They mess with me this morning. Hear me. What an awesome word. Now, we're getting ready to give, amen, on the screen, all the ways that you need to give through the internet or uh, cash app, all of that's on your screen for you to do. And look, if God has been good to you and this broadcast on Facebook and YouTube has been a blessing to you, we ask that you make a sacrifice. Plant a seed into good ground. Amen? Plant a seed into good ground. Amen. And we believe that we are doing what the Lord has told us to do. And we believe that you are being blessed by the words and as we get ready to give, you give, you tithers, amen. There's some of you that know how to tithe. You were taught to tithe, and amen, you got away from it. God let you hear this word today that you can trust him, and you don't have to give up. Start paying your tithe, and amen, you that are tithers, amen, don't forget to do those things that God said he would open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you wouldn't have room enough to receive and he said he'll rebuke the devour for your name's sake and look and all nations shall call you blessed and we thank you let me thank all of you that are already given and you give all the time and you plant to our church and, and you the members of new heart that give all the time and, and because of you we're able to do what we do to keep church going for you Amen, amen. God is keeping us so we can keep getting you the word and keep feeding you and keep bringing you the Bible studies and, and keep bringing you the Sunday school 
Amen, amen. The women meeting on Zoom and getting together and the men praying on Monday. We're doing all of this so that we can keep doing what God has called us to do. Amen. And we want to let you know, too, also on Tuesday and Fridays from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., we are praying and fasting, praying and fasting. Amen. And every morning at 6 a.m., we are praying. Amen. We want you to know God loves you, and we do, too. God bless you. Thank you for your giving, and amen to you that want to come by the church and you're not up on technology. Amen. You can come by the church. Amen. And drop your offering off here and somebody will be here to meet you. God bless. We've enjoyed such a wonderful time this morning. What an awesome service this morning. And the evangelist and elder Solomon preached us happy. Well, God bless you. We love you. And from the first lady and myself, remember, only what you do for Christ will last. God bless you. We love you. We love you. God bless you. We love you. We love you. God bless you. Amen.